Well, Mr. Eddie, you're going to have to tell me where would you like to go, young man? On that view, you get on this thing, and you go, I mean, on this thing, on this water that view, and you yeah. just go straight. So go. basically, you want to just go to the interstate by McDonald's and all that? Yeah, okay. right there, cool. right there. No problem. I can't handle right now, man. I'm, just, right. I'm just in a bad situation, man. Past Kroger and all that? Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, man. I got out of jail. I had a little bit of money. Somebody offered me a good bit. Thought I could make some money and get high, whatever. We ended up getting robbed, man. man. But it's all right, you know. You know, the same people. Well, how was it all of a sudden that you got robbed when you got out of jail? Did you just tell people, oh, hey, I got all this money? No, I had a bunch of dope, you know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just, I'm, I'm wild, man. I, I, I talk a lot, you know, and that, that's my problem, you know, I'm too, too like that. And, and this one guy, he said something to me, and uh, he was like, pick your pants up, you know what I mean? But it was just an excuse, man, you know what I'm saying? To, to, and I don't blame him, man. But you know what? Even even in the midst of that, I, I was looking at that guy, and, and I was angry, you know what I'm saying? In a sense, because I, I want to retaliate, but, but God put in my heart to forgive him, man. You know what I'm saying? Because really, man, forgiveness is, is, is for oneself, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and it hurt me, man, his pride. But it was the ones that were, were around me. They're supposed to be my friends, and they just let it happen, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and So a bunch of people, were you assaulted? Yeah, I was assaulted bad, man, bad, man, bad, bad. And you know who it was? Yeah, man, but you know what? I don't I don't want that man to get no trouble or nothing, man. I don't, man. You know what I'm saying? That's not what I want, man. You know what I mean? You know? <laughs> Dude, let me, uh, let me try to explain to you how I look at this. If you, if this goes unreported and you know who the guy is and you just blow it off as like, oh, shit happens, it's permission for him to do it again. You understand that, don't you? Yeah, but let me tell you something, brother. Yeah. Let me tell you something, brother. This man was in DRC. You know what? It doesn't matter. He got a lot of things he going assaulted on. you. But it's, it's all right, though. Everybody's got their conditions yeah, and situations. I, I'm going to tell you this. Look, okay. I showed that man for one minute. Don't get me wrong now. I went back and I tried to retaliate and I couldn't, man, because I was so drunk, man. You know what I'm saying? But, man, I, I could I could, I could, hurt that man. I could hurt anybody. But he, I ended up in prison. He ended up in prison. One of us going to end up in prison and one of us going to be in a hole. So God said, if you want to show my true character... Regardless of what happened or what it was, I told that man that I'm sorry. And when I shook his hand and I let him know, cause he was he was a uh, 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 he was uh, how you say it? He was sorry for what he did. He was sorry. You know what I mean? Yeah. Because he look he, he hit me with, with with a stick in my head or something and hit me a couple of times and it broke. And then he kept on hitting me with his hand and I was like, all right, it's enough. And, and he just kept on. I said, right then, I mean, kill me then. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's going to be. And I'm looking around, and everybody's just smiling. All the people that I say they're my friends, and they are. You know what? But now there's a barrier because of that. You know what? Well, I can't, I can't trust them like that. Yeah. But for, 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 for me to forgive that man, I had to. I had to, man. Okay. Well, hey, that's entirely up to you. Because I'm just saying, you've got an interesting circle of friends that they're going to do that for you. No, but these guys right here, look, let me tell you something. I'm the only Hispanic there, and I talk about God a lot. And they get frustrated, man, with it, man. You know what? Whether I'm high, where I'm not, and whatnot. Now, it put me in a place where I said, you know what? I'm not going to get high no more. I'm not going to do it, Lord. You showed me that, you know what? It's mandatory that I don't get high, and I'm not. You know what I'm saying? I, I totally understand. You know, and that's I, I. I wish you the best of luck in that regard for sure. Where Where do you want to be dropped off? Where Where you can drop off at the BP and make it easier for you. You just turn into BP. At the BP. Okay. Yeah, and you can turn back around. Bro. All right, I see. It. I appreciate that, and man. I see the sign from here. Thank you, man. Not a problem. You know, and and you know, I, I really want to give up, and as, as I'm thinking about it, I just want to give up and say, you know what, man. Where you at, Lord? But you know what? He's faithful, man. You know? Even when I'm going through, 
it's for a reason, you know. But I really wanted to give up. I just said, you know what? Fuck you, Lord. You know what I mean? And then wow. a part of me, it, it, it stirs up some anger, man. Look, cause I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie to you, man. I used to be a bad dude, man. And when I'm talking about bad, man, I would hurt somebody and not even think about it. But I can't even do that, man. I can't even do that. You know what I'm saying? Well, that's a that's a great step. You know. That's how I know that the spirit of God is in me, man. Because there's things that I don't do, man. Because you know what? I, the main thing, I don't want to offend God. I don't want to sin against God. And it's hard, man, being out there, man. Yes, it is. It is, you know. But at the same time, I want to blame everybody else. But it might be a storm that God's caused me to go through, man. Because let me tell you something. If a person knows Eddie, that little character, whatever they want to put on it, they know I got a heart for God, man. They know it. Because there's no way out of it. Well, if you're not comfortable around your circle of friends, what would be an ideal way to get out of that? Can you move? Can you relocate? By yourself? I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to do something. I'm going to have to, man. I'm going to have to, man. You know what I mean? I'm going to have to. I have to do something, man. You know what I mean? I have to, man. But I have to make the first choice, brother. I have to, man. You know, look, I, and I got people that'll help me, man. But I, 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 I can't do it. You know, look, and I, I got people that'll help me, man. But I, I, I can't do it. Drinking and getting high, I can't do it. I can't do it. No. So, well, so really, I have to sit down. Allow that stuff to come out of my heart. Out of me and live that life. I can do it though. Now, mm -hmm. would you say that the people that are you're surrounded by are using alcohol and drugs? Yes, sir. All right. So you got to remove yourself from that situation. Yeah. How how do you plan on doing that? Well, what would be what would you like to do? I know they're your quote unquote friends, but I don't think friends kick each other's ass and steal their money. Yeah, you know, that doesn't seem like a very good friend of mine. I have to find another spot, man. Yeah. For a little bit, not too long, about a week or two weeks. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And just, I'm a, I'm a people person, man. You know? Yeah. And and the people that I'm telling you about, those are the people that God wants me to love. You miss of all that. You miss of all that thing. That's how I know that God tells me, and you have to show my character, His character, to them and love them, so that maybe. They would think and say, you know what? They may really know God. That God is really true, because He is, man. He's 100% real, man. You know what? I'm alive today to tell you that He is, man. And I don't do it for a dollar, I don't do it for this. Let me fix you up, buddy. You're, uh, I don't want it to fall off. You know, and the church and stuff like that, it's not your job to do that, man. But I know God got a purpose and a plan for me, man. For one reason, I've been there. I've been where they're at. And I used to always look at people as my problem. It wasn't the people. When I started praying, I said, God, change me, Lord. Don't change the circumstances of the people. Change me. So when I go in there, I can handle it. Eddie, you're awesome, man. I'm just trying to tell you, man, you know what, man? I'm not trying to blow smoke up. But, but you know what, man? When God comes in your heart, when he comes in your heart, you know it. You know it. You know what I mean? You know it. I'm just saying, because you know what it is right here? It's God, and I don't care, man. I love God. And they know, man. And I let things get in my head. I can't follow what a man's got or a tradition or, or a, a rule. I can't do it. I can if you've been through it. And you want to disciple me? I can't do it. No, I will do it. Hundred percent. Salute you. But no, my Bible says, "Don't trust man. Trust God. Trust the living Word. Meditate it on day and night, and let it consume you." He keeps him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on Him. Who he's talking about? Christ, man. You know what I'm saying? I was under that bridge. He brought me up out of that bridge. Shit. Look at me. Yeah. 
You seem to be getting along pretty nice in regards. Good. I'm blessed. Yeah. I'm blessed, yeah. brother. I'm blessed. Would it be Would it be out of line to ask you if I can give you a hug? Nah, I wouldn't be out of line. Uh, can man. I pray with you, man? Yeah, absolutely. All right. I'm all about that. Please do. There's power in prayer. Let me tell you something about prayer now. A lot of people say, oh, this and that. But a form of not wanting to pray is a form of pride. I don't need to pray. I'm good. I prayed enough. That's too much. Huh? Yeah. God said, pray without ceasing. When he went into the garden, he said, I need y'all to pray for me. The hour has come. And he went and prayed. Yeah. He come back out. Caught them sleeping. What's the matter, guys? But not only that. <laughs> Caught them sleeping. The 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 multitude. It was five thousand. He just fed them. As they were leaving, he constrained them. In the King James version, how this come to my head? He constrained them to go in the ship and go across the river without him, as he went and prayed. Now in the New Living Translation, he made them go. For what reason? So they have a different revelation. Because if they're sitting back here, la, la, la. But being in that storm, whoo, help, help. They come walking like a ghost. Is that true, Lord Jesus? If that's you, please. Yeah. Let me walk with you. Amen. Man, you have a lot of knowledge of the Bible. Uh, that's very impressive. That's God. It's not me, it's God. Man, I was well, never raised you, in church. Uh, no, you seem to know quite a bit, man. This is all about, look, if I talk about myself, then I ain't talking about nothing. If anything shines to me, I'm not talking about nothing. I want to shine to the Lord Jesus Christ. Okay. Because that's, who he, that's where it's intended to. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, I just thank you for my brother right here, Father God. I thank you for what he's doing, Lord. I thank you for the seed that you planted in his heart, Father God, to allow these people to know, Lord, that there is hope, there is people that love and that want to help, Father God, the ones that are in need, Lord. I just ask you to bless whatever he's got going on, this business, bless his dog, bless his finances, Father God. You ask, you said, when we ask, and we agree in your name, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Today, Father God, I just ask you, Lord, to bless this man in all his ways, Father God, that you get all the glory, Lord, that you deserve, Lord. We just thank you, Lord, for allowing us to be alive. We thank you to allow us to be praying right here. No condemnation, no more shame, no more guilt, Father God, because we belong to you, Father God. And you say that you love us. You gave your life for us, Father God, and we thank you. We thank you, Jesus, for all that you do, Lord. May your name be glorified forever and ever. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All so, right. I love you, brother. Give me another hug, brother. I love you, man. Hey, Eddie, I got, I, I, I'm going to get you a backpack, all right, man? I got one. I got one. I got one on the back. I, you, I got, got one. you have one already? I got one, look. All right. How you doing on socks? That, that a hernia, man. You know what I'm saying? You, yeah, you, you have a hernia. I could see that already. Man. It's all good, though. Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> no. That's really not how it goes. It's all good, they don't man. really fix themselves. I know it. I love you, brother, man. Thank you, man. I love you. I love you, bro. You're I love welcome. You, I love you, bro. God you, bless bro. you, sir. I love you, bro. I love you, bro. I love you, man. God bless you. Man. you. No. You know what, man? Hey, you, if I see you, 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 you look at me like a person, dog. You look at me like something else, man. You look at me like a person, man. That's how I know you carry God, man. That's how I know, man. You know what? You don't look at me. Ugh. You know what I mean? Well, if... <laughs> You know, if you don't get viewed as a person, then you don't exist. You know what I mean? He said, if a man see his brother in need and have no pity on him, how can the love of God be in him? Or I'll turn it around in a different translation. If a brother see a brother in need and had no compassion on him, how can the love of God be in him? God is not asking for a sacrifice, sacrificial life, uh, whatever. He's asking us to show mercy upon one another. Huh? That's the sacrifice he asked of yeah. us. To show mercy on the next man. Because if I show you mercy, don't return it to me. Show the next man mercy. Yeah. And let the next man show the next man mercy. But if I turn around and hate you and, and return violence with violence, then you're gonna return violence to the next one and the next one to the next one. Well when you Same said thing. when you when you said earlier that you didn't retaliate upon the person you I know, tried though. Well, but at the same time, you know, nothing happened because you followed your heart, you know. 
Would you like to re-dip your cooling rag in that cold water? To... Yeah, that's good, that's good, brother. Just, You're good? Just okay. keep me in your prayers, man. I love you, bro. I yeah, I'm going to keep you in my prayers for sure. And I, I'm not going to take your advice, man. I'm going to have to find somewhere. I, I just can't go back to Well, that. you got to, hey, you know, man. if you want to change your lifestyle, you got to kind of change your surroundings as well. You've got a certain circle of influence. Yeah, you're comfortable with them, but if they're using drugs and alcohol, it's Very just gonna brother. it's gonna pull you right back in. Brother, at first when it happened, they tried to say that that I was a little drunk and I got a little rowdy, right? But then when I really sat down and, and I, and I uh, uh, look at the situation, it was I, vengeance. I said, "Where's my bag at? Yeah. Where's my medicine at? Where's my wallet at? It was all in the bag." Yeah. They took my drugs, they took my alcohol, that's fine, you know? And my Bible, and I said, man, that's when I returned. I was mad. I had my address stick, man. I called him in the tent. I said, come on now, I'm not going to do you like you did me. I just want my shit, man. And, and he was like, I don't know where it's at. And that let me know that the other men that were around is the ones that took it. He didn't take it. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't know what caused him to, to act like that. He was just going through some things, you know what I'm saying? And I respect the man. You know, I don't scare, I, I'm not scared of him. But I was like, Lord, what do I do now, Lord? Yeah. Let it go. You gotta get out of there. He said, let it go. You gotta and get you know out what? of there. The man returned my stuff. And he did. And somebody else stole it. And then yesterday, oh, no. yesterday I seen my brother Michael from the church. And I seen his number in the in the drain, the wash drain. And it hurt me, man. I was like, damn, my Bible. My bag right here. I lost it, man. I was like, damn, y'all know what the hell going on? Just give me my shit, man. I, you know what I mean? I'm not asking for anything. Just asking me my shit back, man. They can't even do that. Give me my give that. me my own belongings, which are mine in the first place. They can't even do that. I just want my I just want my Bible. But you know what the preacher man from the province told me today? He said, they stole your Bible. Shit, they're blessed. They stole your Bible, Eddie. Because guess what? They might read it. And I said, damn, I didn't even thought about it like that. You know, that is a valid point. Huh? A friend of mine, a couple weeks back, had her Bible stolen, and she told me that same thing. She said somebody needed it more than her. And I was, I was, that was a profound statement. You know, that was pretty, uh, this made me think. There's something that I encourage people. If you spend time in that Bible, just spend time in it, right? Uh-huh. I spent a lot of time in it, and I asked God, I spent all this time in that Bible. I did this and that. I woke up early and I, and I made time for you, Lord. And he said, hold up, Eddie. You belong to me. That time is my time. When you <laughs> sat up there, that was my time, Eddie. Right. That was my time. And I looked at it, I said, all right. But you know what? It's a personal relationship with God. You have to have a personal relationship. I can't tell you what relationship is right and what's wrong. I just encourage you to seek that relationship because it's the best thing in life that life has to offer you. Okay. It's God, man. Would you like another water ready for the road? I'm good, brother. You're good? Thank you so much, man. God bless you, man. You're welcome. God you, bless you, sir. I love you, man. Thank you. Uh, hey, I'm going to help you every time I see you. Thank you, bro. So, all right, man. Good luck, man. Oh, good, man. man. All right, be careful. Man, I got a tear in my eye. It's going to take me a minute. I got to compose myself. I guess no other better way to do that than to start driving. All right, let's do that. Wow, Eddie. Yeah, I've met him a few times. Wow. You know, I guess it kind of, nothing I can do. I gotta go to the light. I'm at a bad spot. All right, let me compose myself. I'm gonna try to come back. I'll, that was a mind-altering experience. You know, you try and try and try and try and try to do the right thing. You know, hooked on drugs and alcohol. It just keeps calling you back in. It keeps taking you in. And uh, you, uh, you succumb to its effects. And unfortunately, that's a pretty common story. 
which is horrible. Uh, I don't know. M more treatment? Anybody got answers? I think everything's, you know, everything's on the table, you know. All right, I got to reflect upon this, but uh, we'll be back soon, guys.